Greetings ladies and mental gents and welcome to today's Reddit series video from the subreddit HFY. Called Warned, written by you sure I'm not a robot. The link to the original will be down below. And as always, I hope that you enjoy. Chapter 4 Gremlins Unfortunate Accident Array in mankind's first flights and the later and the early air forces, they developed the story, The Gremlin Was Born. The Gremlins were responsible for every minor malfunction, every glitch and breakdown. Bullets jammed, Gremlins. Prop broke, Gremlin. With the advent of a nanoscale machines and half-decent AI, humanity remembered Gremlins and figured out how to weaponize them. The military doctrine of wounding rather than outright killing their enemies was an army idea. Wounded men take soldiers off the battlefield as effectively as they also require support staff. Endless military supplies and substantial budget. What, our creative staff asked, if we did that to everyone? Why wait until we're on a battlefield? What if we go into retaliation in the first? They engineered an unfortunate accident array currently deployed throughout the late Honorable Intelligence's system. The Council sent a fleet to access the damage. Pirates dropped into the grab whatever they could. Scavengers, scientists, journalists, conspiracy theorists, they all came to wonder at the corpse of this once mighty system. Every ship picked up a small dose. It would grow in time. Given the correct environment, some bots looked for energy points, some looked for weapons arrays, some for ammunition, some looked to build new bots. The ships that landed spread the evil. Bots on the ship would seek out life support, atmosphere control, and any of the CPUs. If you knew where to look, there were bots would tell you where the enemy was, as well as the mapping their travel routes. Every ship was a plague ship. Within days, malfunctions began. Critical systems broke, minor fires, unplanned drops into real space. Weapon failures, life support failures, engine failures. Every day became a firefighting exercise, degrading morale, exhausting the support crews and inflicting damage. Council Fleet Coordination Ad Hoc Council Fleet Admiral Rook I will start shooting engineers if this performance continues. I have 30% of my ships looking to return to the dock. Cowardice! Excellency, sir, the support staff are doing the best they can. They cannot explain what is happening, and they are working four shifts to maintain the systems. The only explanation is sabotage. Arrest every Tawal on the ships and throw them out of the airlocks. So, the Tawal are our engineers. Without them, it'll get worse. Exactly. They lost their place at the council, and now they seek to take us down. Who else could inflict this kind of damage? Follow my orders, or go with them. Of course, sir. Fleet military police removed the uneasy through the fleet, apprehending engineers, mechanics, quite a lot more navigation officers than expected, and most of the catering staff. There was quite a lot, so they put them all into ship bays rather than using airlocks. Then they opened the bay doors. The council fleet's crew watched. Commander Rexic. The UAA reports serious degradation of the enemy ships. However, I expect them to advance regardless. Commander Seven, you are authorized to begin. Godspeed and fair sailing. Commander Seven, thanks sir, fair sailing to you too. See you on the other sides. It's been a privilege. Going dark. Commander Seven began plotting the incoming council fleets. The UAA lit up nicely for him, and it wasn't about ship numbers, it was about space. Space is so damn big that it's quite hard to hit something. Unless you had, for example, a bloody good idea of where your enemies were going to turn up and had an entirely of weaponized asteroid belt to play with. Scout ships started jumping in. Quite a lot of them had hit unexpected debris. The recent explosion of the gas giant caused more problems. They shattered remains of these three fleets already destroyed in system, shrouded any active ship's sensors. Council Fleet Command Ad Hoc This is a crap show we can't see. Everything reads as either one of ours or shrapnel from the planet. I recommend we just quarantine the system and move on. Negative, sir. Orders are clear. Or do you want us to follow the Tawal into space without a suit? Fine. Order the fleet to enter real space on my mark. Mark.
End of chapter. Chapter 5 7 DM Commander 7 regarded his map. The system spun in front of him. His assets all spun in a gentle green light. He, the enemy fleets were purple. He had already degraded the scouts. Now it was time to play with the big boys. He still wasn't entirely sure how Rexic had persuaded these idiots to come and play with him, but he was looking forward to the game. Council Fleet Admiral Rook commanding. I am my four fleet short, I ordered everyone here. Excellency, sir, they report major and ongoing problems with engineering and navigation. They assure us that they are on the way. I am surrounded by liars and fools. Tell the fleets to attack immediately. I intend to jump straight to the homeworld after this nuisance is destroyed. Council Fleet Command Ad Hoc. Harry and Fleet. We can't run straight in there. We haven't a clue what we face. I know, but orders are orders. I am sure that our engineers are ready to report issues. Correct? Engineering was always reporting issues. That's the point of engineering as far as the officer knew. Inform the flagship that we'll be slightly delayed. Forward the engineering reports to them. All of them. He paused. Let us hope us buys us some time. The Inup Fleet. Our glorious people have been chosen by the Council to be the vanguard of this war. We will destroy our enemies and secure the universal order that we have gifted the people. High Ascending Fleet. Prepare for battle. The humans are costing us money. Commander Seven began moving his pieces. He sent a few hundred dead rocks into the path of the fleet designated Zenf. He moved his pirate squadrons into support. While the enemy swerved and broke formations, he triggered the gremlins. Elegantly planned invasions turned into a crap show. Ships collided, ships simply exploded. These guys need to fire the IT support. Execute plan ARG. I don't like the HF just sitting outside of this. Send the clowns. Everyone loves clowns. A cloud of asteroids suddenly accelerated, performing a perfect ballet towards the Herian fleet. Point defense immediately began firing, turning many into small pieces. These pieces continued their dance. Herian fleet. Sir, withdraw the fleet. I don't want to know what happens next. Too late. The asteroids continued to dance towards the ships, gaining speed. Then they began firing, shooting more rocks. Sir, shields are fading. We need to leave. Take us home. We are not the wall. Inform the humans that we are no longer part of the council. We accept their sovereignty. What should I tell the council? Nothing. Commander Seven received the surrender first. Annoying, he redirected his pop rocks towards the high ascending fleet. In the meantime, he went to play with his pirates. With the asteroid surging the ZF designated target, thousands of bots emerged. They slowed enough to intercept the Zenith battleships, and the UAA blinded them with thousands of drones attached to ships. They began burning through the hulls. There is a tradition on Earth history of a berserker, the idea of insane and vulnerable warriors, free from pain, free from all restraint. He had designed them himself. They poured into the ship they carried only blades, intending to capture the ships intact. The slaughter was insane. Shooting them broke some, but never enough. Fast, amoral, and carrying 4,000 years of human martial arts learning, they could not be stopped. Some of them may have held cutlasses. No reports are available. They were Commander Seven's favorite toys. End of chapter. I hope that you enjoyed. If you'd like to support the channel or the author, all the stuff is down below. And as always, I hope that you guys have a good one, and I'll see you in the next story. Cheers.